Now don't let up on this man. This man is dangerous. This man is this dangerous. Man is dangerous. I'm dangerous. I'm What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Growl Zone Podcast. Your host, Natty Nate, Nate Moore, with my co-host, Kyle, The Rage Cage Jasper. Yo, 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 we're back, baby. It's the Rage Cage. And we're on, what, week nine? Yeah, it's got to be week nine by now. Uh, Podcast nine, we are on week 11, Ain't no law when there's claw. Week 11. (laughs) And Twisty Boys, which you know about that Twisty Boys song. Yeah, we're having a nice beverage inside today. It's a little chilly outside, but it's going to be heating up. Are the boys cold? We're cold. It's cold outside, dude. We We need to heat up, man. Uh, we got a bunch of topics for you guys. I'm getting a little fucking pissed. The rage might come out a little bit today. <laughs> and I just haven't been satisfied with the play. CJ Stroud, Texans offense. We knew it was coming. Yep. It was one of those sneaky yep. games where everybody had that feeling. A trap game. We got a game tomorrow, Thursday night primetime against the Ravens, who just lost to the Browns. And here's the deal, man. But hold on. Before we get into the Ravens game, like always, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure to go check out Growlzone.com. That's Growlzone.com, G-R-O-W-L-Z-O-N-E, Growlzone.com. And also make sure to go like and follow our Instagram, at Growl underscore zone. We post daily Bengals content from meme to the best highlights in Bengals history. Like I said, please make sure to go support us on both those platforms. We really appreciate all the listens as well. The podcast goes full episode on YouTube as well as Spotify. So once again, Growlzone.com. Kyle! Yeah. You said it earlier. Of course. We got beat by a fucking rookie, bro. We got beat by a rookie. We didn't even get beat by the first overall pick. We got beat by a rookie. Not only that, he did the OH. Did the OH. In the end zone, dude. OH in the goddamn. How salty is that, dude? He's from Cali. He don't, like, he played in. Oh, Ohio State, but he doesn't. He's got. I can't even. I can't even talk. Like, <sighs> what do you think about that when he dropped the OH I, in the end zone, man? I mean, I'm not the biggest Ohio State. I know fan. that hurt Joe Burrow's soul, dude. You think? <laughs> it hurt. His I soul. had to walk out of the room. It was so bad, and I couldn't even come back in because you motherfuckers saw us bad. Yeah, because we actually, and you guys are all cooked on the couch. We always started actually you guys are playing cooked well. on the couch. And I go back in the room. <laughs> and then we score. And then we start coming back. You don't mess with the football gods. You don't mess with the football Very gods. Very superstitious. Riding on, on the wall. wall. Don't give me on that blind motherfucker. I'll start yep. spitting that blind shit. So. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Bengals lost 30 to 27 if you've, not, if you've been living under a rock and haven't known that. Um... Just some stats for you to go over. Joe Burrow, 27 of 40 for 347 and two touchdowns, but two costly interceptions that killed us. Jamar Chase, five catches for 124 yards, dealing with a back injury. He played great. Tyler Boyd, best game possibly of the year if he hadn't dropped that potential game-winning touchdown, but he had eight catches for 117 yards. Cam Taylor Britt, another interception and seven tackles to go along with it t higgins did not unfortunately he did not play dealing with a hamstring injury we'll get to that later he is still dealing with that same injury going into the thursday night game against the ravens the texan stats bro like i said this is a fucking rookie and he goes 23 of 39 for 356 yards one touchdown and one interception devin singletary who got basically... Man, that dude. Where that... Dude. Hey, Bills, dude? Come yeah. On, man. Basically was not asked to re-sign by the Bills. Goes into free agency. Signs with the Texans, who are not good. So it kind of tells you level of play. Where is that? Goes 30 carries 
for 150 yards, career high, and a touchdown. And then Noah Brown, same type of guy, played for the Cowboys. Played for the Cowboys. Played for the Cowboys, was not asked to re sign. They go and test free agency, finds himself in Houston, cross Texas, and goes seven catches for 172 yards. Cage, what was your biggest takeaway from the game? <sighs> biggest takeaway? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is Hubbard defense. Our rush, injured, our rush defense injured, is awful. No pressure. I think a lot, Hubbard, he, I think he's like the key piece. So is he more valuable he's not than there, I guess, I guess the D-line has no comms. They don't know their, their stunts. They don't know what gap they're hitting. They can't get to the QB. I get it. It's a mobile guy, which we struggle with. Lamar, we struggle with. CJ Stroud, struggle with. So Hubbard... Looks Hubbard and T. Higgins look like they are both doubtful to play this Thursday. And Trey Hendrickson. That's the biggest question, dude. Trey so H- going into that, my my boy, uh, I drop in the Bengals chat, which I'm which I'm in. My boy uh, Rhett's Everett Chatfield saying X Men. He uh, wants to know: Can Charlie Jones and Chase Brown carve out a role, or give us some team speed on offense? Dude, I, I don't back? know. I, I don't know what's going on with Chase Brown, but the fact that, I mean, how much has that guy played, dude? Has he played anything? I can't remember when he's on the field. I haven't seen a snap. Yeah, like besides preseason. So, is he just not? I I hate to say, it, is he just not? He's been injured though, right? Here, let me look it up real quick. I mean, if he's not playing, I can't assume it's not for a reason. He's on IR right now. And Charlie Jones got placed on IR. We drafted him this last year. He was ready to come back, I believe, this past game. And where was he at? I told you on the last part, I'm like, one of these guys got to step up. And, of course, Tyler Boyd's got butters in the end zone. Jamar Chase gets injured halfway through the game. Or was that the other game? I mean, it looks like Charlie Jones had a full practice Monday and Tuesday. No, wait, Chase got injured in the Bills game. Yeah, Chase got, he landed on his back. And he's still fighting that, right? So Yeah. I mean, T. Higgins, like a hamstring, dude, that's a hamstring's tough. Hubbard's going to be out. Yoshi's going to be out. Chase had five catches for 124. Yep. So Chase is open, always fucking open. 7 11. He's always, God, dude, so reliable, man. Jesus, dude. From the beginning of the season to now, he's been on fire. Like, God, dude. He was not good in the beginning of the season. But where are these other guys? Why are you trying to Charlie up. Jones if he's not even going to play? You got some fucking Yoshi kid putting in the work, coming off the practice squad or some shit out of nowhere. Yoshi looks like he's going to be out this Thursday. Charlie Jones. He's looks, hurt too? Yeah, Charlie Jones. We didn't get the injury report. You got, what, you got an injury report? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, who's on it? So, Hendrickson is limited. He's questionable. Oh, T. Fuck, Higgins is dude. out. Sam Hubbard is out. Fuck. Uh, Yoshi looks like he's going to be out. Fuck. DJ Reader looks like he's going to be good. Awuzie looks like he's going to be good. A team Fuck, Davis Gaither bad. is questionable. And Charlie Jones and Cam Taylor Britt both look like so they're going to be Did we really good. win that Bills game? Because it sounds like all these dudes got fucked during the Bills game, dude. I didn't realize there was that many injuries in that damn game. That's I not mean, good. We're, I'm trying, I mean, but also the Texans game, you take out Hubbard, then Hendrickson gets hurt. I mean, because he's the only one that got hurt during the game, right? Who? Hendrickson. And Hubbard. He got injured during the Texans? I thought so. I didn't see him during, like, I don't know if he got hurt during the Texans or the Bills, but he, I thought, I thought he got. the Bills at the end of the game or something. Oh, was it? I don't know. It might have been. I can't really tell, but anyway, I mean. So what do you think, man? We're five and four. What do you think the reasonable, like, Expectations for us are at this point halfway through the year, dude. Five if, and four, I believe. If 
We're what well, you said would be the eight seed as of right now, dude. If we lose, so we lose, we would be out of the playoffs. Game. We wouldn't be in. We lose this game. Is there any hope to make the playoffs? If we lose this game, there's still hope, but it's got to be under fifty percent. Like now, it's like why? Well, it's not over yet, but like now, you if we you lose, almost damn near got went out. Yeah, right? if we lose Thursday, I would I would give us like a. 33% chance. So the AFC all have the best record. Can they... I guess they all can be in the playoffs. Yep. Because like seven, everybody, if everybody's like 10 and 7 and 9 and 8... Because, I mean... Realistically, se- all of them could be in it. Well, and seven teams make the playoffs. So there's four divisions and then three wildcard teams. And they could be the three. The problem is, well, if... The problem is, dude, someone like... Because I'm looking at it right now. Let's let's look at it right now. Well, the problem is, dude, we've lost tiebreakers to the teams that are ahead of us. I mean, you're looking at it right now. The Texans are the only legitimate wildcard threat outside the AFC North. What about the Bills and the Chargers? Chargers four and five. Yeah, but that's only one game. After this week, they could be tied with us. Really? The Raiders got 5-5? Five five? Holy shit. Yeah. They've Damn. won two in a row. They're heating up. Colts are 5-5. Five and five. Bills are 5-5. Five and five. Broncos are 4-5. Yeah, but I'm thinking, like, versus, against us, we're 5-4. and four. Nobody else is 5-4 and four besides the Texans. What if we lose this and, week? And Steelers and Browns are six and three, so they already have a wild card spot as of right now. I don't so. know, man. The problem is we've lost the we've lost the. Which tie- you hate to see because they're in the same division. Well, so. the problem is we've lost the tiebreaker to the Browns. We've lost the tiebreaker to the Texans. I mean, that's big, dude. Because if you do end up with the same record, well, really that tiebreaker is going to go to the head the to head. We could split with the Browns, right? Yeah, we could. Now, if you had the Texans and we, you know, we end up getting the same record, yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, they're going to win the tiebreaker because it's head-to-head. Right. I don't know. I mean, like I said, it, it be, they already play in the toughest division in the whole league, and it's already the toughest conference in the whole league, and they have the toughest schedule in the whole re- remainder of the season. So, I mean, if you're that team... Now's the time to prove it. And everyone thought they proved it against the 49ers. So, what do you, pro- so here we go. Here, here. So I'm thinking about the Ravens game, right, coming up. I, at this point, you got to be thinking double team on Chase, right? Who are the Ravens? Yeah. They probably... If, like, Hump- if I'm, the, I'm, I'm Harbaugh, like I'm going, I'm going all... Like I'm going double team. And like make somebody else make a play. You got Boyd Butters. You got Yost 99 playing. Yeah. You got Charlie Jones, who is taking fucking two snaps. <laughs> he had a punt return last time. That was He was the guy That's who. That's all he's doing is special teams. Yeah. T. Higgins not even playing. Yeah, he's what out. What the fuck's going on with him, bro? Get your fucking shit straight, dude. He's got a hamstring. He's so fucking good when he's on the field, but he just can't stay on the field. Not this season. He has been in the past, but just well, this. The, yeah, in the past, but like. This season, damn, he's dude. just been hurt. But, I mean. Feels like the story is this year. We're a good team. We just, like, can't stay healthy, it seems like. It started from the very beginning with Burrow and you know, the calf. Oh, started from God the very God. beginning with Burrow and the calf. But the anyway. Fucking unlucky. The cursed calf. Yep. The curse calf. But anyway, the Bengals, ladies and gentlemen, they fell three spots to number 12 in the NFL.com power rankings. The five teams that are ahead of the Bengals as we stay right now, Seahawks, Texans, Browns number nine, Jaguars number eight, and Cowboys number seven. Do you have any... Dude, the Seahawks one still pisses me off. Like, we're better than the Seahawks. We literally beat the Seahawks. Texans, I got to give it to them. Browns, I got to give them to them because they're still ahead. They still beat us. Jaguars. Well, the Seahawks are 6 and 3, so that's pretty. Yeah, but we still beat that's them, kinda, dude. I mean, you can say we beat them, but they, they have a better record. So. I mean. Yeah, if you. They have the now, same. if we 
No, you know what's bullshit when we just beat them? And the next week later, we still were not yeah. above them. Like, the Seahawks one just pisses me. Like, I think we would beat the Seahawks any given day. I think, which we did, like by the way. Like, nine out of ten times, for sure. Yeah. But anyway, the Ravens, who are this, obviously, Thursday night's matchup, they're number three in the NFL.com power rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, the Bengals are a three-and-a-half-point underdog heading into the night's game, or Thursday night's game. Like we mentioned before, T. Higgins out, Hendrickson questionable, Hubbard doubtful. It's already going to be a tough hill, rough hill battle, uphill battle, whatever the hell you want to call it. But do we have any chance of winning? Yes. The more and more, I keep discussing this game. It seems like we, we have a chance because we have a healthy Burrow. If you have a healthy Burrow, you got a chance. I like that. If you have, I if like he that. is healthy, that was a good answer right there. If like he that. is healthy, you at least got a chance. But he can't turn the ball over and not back to back drives. So, he's so usually good at not throwing picks. I think he's the, the most accurate passer in the looking NFL. Looking back on the last game, I think that was the most killer thing. Well, when you heard his press conference, I mean, he's starting to look like Josh Allen out there. Bro. Well, well, when you heard his press conference, they asked him like, "Hey, since you were down like ten points." pretty late in the game did he try to do a lot and he's like yeah I mean and he basically admitted like I was trying to make a play like at that point I'm trying to make a play so he was trying to almost well, over- you, well god damn you should be making plays all game so you don't have to be in that spot fuck Zach Taylor in one of their post game uh, locker room speeches fuck I mean we weren't even scoring what was it 10 to like 24 for the longest yeah but Zach Taylor in the in uh, one of their post game uh, locker room speeches he said when you guys start out hot, you're the best team in the league. And it's true. When they start out hot, dude, they're awesome. That's funny they say. But you can't put yourself behind the eight ball. They haven't holding no lead pretty well this year. Dude, 49ers, early lead. Buffalo Bills, early lead. Like it's if true. they can I get out. That. They start off hot, they do. They, they're actually, awesome. Like, they stick with it the rest of the Because the game. defense is great. Like in the fourth quarter, at least. Besides the Texans. But... Yeah, usually I say Cincinnati sports is like a comeback type of team. Reds, Fight to the end. Reds had the most walk-offs this year. Right. Like, just in general, like, even in the past Bengals, I feel like they had always, they'd be down and they'd find a way to come back and stuff. Except but, in the fucking playoffs. Except in the fucking playoffs. Yeah, in the playoffs. Playoffs? We, in the playoffs, we had the lead and we And they fucked fucking, it up. Fucking fumble. Penalties. Fucking Vontez takes AB's head off, and then, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go down that road, ladies and gentlemen. I. That's a dark road. That's a dark, dark road to the dark I side. Know, I don't know. If there's any light at that tunnel. So. Yeah, but anyway, give me a score. Oh no. I, I'm gonna ask you two questions, but first, give me a score. I don't want to give a score. I want to hear a score though. Oh god. And you're talking to the guy who. I had the Ravens sweeping the Bengals. I had the Ravens yeah, sweep. Wait, so what's your score going to be then? I'll let you to go first this time. Uh, I don't want to. My score? I'm like, I kind of just want to say the Ravens will win just because you know, so like, the Bengals I, I, can prove I, me wrong. My, I can't, like, dude. I've been gassing up the Ravens all year from the jump, so dude, I, kinda, go, I feel like I kind of had to stick with that. If we drop to 5-5, five and five, I will be heartbroken. I, I can't think that we're... <sighs> Honestly, bro, I'm going to go... Oh, my God. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 23-20 us. I'm going to go 23-20... Us. You can't switch That's up. That's what I'm going. You can't switch up now, dog. I know. I'm, I can't, dude. If I anything... My life is already in my home. Enough. I can't... I gotta have hope. And I'm... I'm, when, I'm going 23-20. I think... 23-20. Come on. Who then? I like your spirit, but... This is a game where I like want them to prove me wrong, so I'm going. I'm going 32, 24 Ravens. What was it? 32, 24 Ravens. Fuck. You know what I'm doing, bro? 
You know what I'm doing? Oh, God. I'm taking that. Two hundred dollars in free bets on ESPN. Oh, you saw that? I got on that ESPN today too. bet. All on the Bengals. Don't. All on the Bengals. Please don't. Come on. Who that? At least teaser Bengals spread with no the over. No. Yeah. Give me money line. Money line, baby. You're on, you're on crack. Give me Bengals minus three. Give me Bengals minus or give me Bengals minus two and a half. Plus. <laughs> yeah, minus. Minus two and a half. Unless no, I want. The, I'm taking the Bengals as a favorite. I'm oh, taking the Bengals oh, as a favorite. He's gonna move the line for plus value. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going 23-20. Cage is going 34 or uh, 32 to 28. All right. Let me ask you this: since you picked them to lose, if we fall to five and five, I mean, what percent chance you give us to make the playoffs, man? Five hundred this late in the year. Oof. It's tough. I don't know. What, I mean, do you, what, do you, what do you think? Because I want to look at the schedule again. Like right I said, I give them. I give them a thirty-three percent chance. Steelers. Okay, we beat the Steelers six and five. Jags. We can beat them. Is that at Jacksonville? Six and six, probably though. Seven and six against Colts. Eight and six against the Vikings. Sweep the Steelers. Nine and six. And then I think it comes down to either you got to beat the Chiefs or the Bengals. And I think the Chiefs are easily beatable after the Broncos lost and the way they've been playing. So, I, I think they have a better chance to beat the Chiefs than the fucking Browns. Really? With P.J. Walker now? That was Deshaun. Deshaun's out for the year. I thought you told me he was playing last game. He did play last game. And? Fractured his right shoulder. Oh, God damn. You didn't know? <laughs> Bro, uh, have your, has your ESPN app been up at all today? It's been like the biggest story of the whole day. Damn, I must have missed that one. Yeah, he fractured his must right. This foot. Right fra- past me, bro. Fractured his right shoulder. He's out for the year. He's one ear and out the other. He's, he's out for the year. But anyway, you got anything else to say about the Bengals? Anything else? I don't know. Who do you think needs to step up the most that you like want to see? It's not one person, but the run defense. If we cannot stop Baltimore from running the ball, we're fucked. Gus? Gus, Justice Hill, Lamar, all of them, dude. You got to stop <sighs> That's them. That's going to be tough. Like, we, don't, we don't have QB spy. We're fucked, dude. And I don't know even who, then. And even then. I don't know. Like, that's that's got to be Mike Hilton. Somebody, it's that'd be, be somebody interesting. Fast. Yeah, you, it can't you be. Gotta, you got Because I don't think Logan Wilson's fast you, enough. Like I no love, way. I love Logan, but he not no. Lamar. Like, come on now, come on now. So you're gonna have to get a. I'm mean, if I'm the Bengals in practice this week. I'm setting up nickel or I'm setting up somebody that can float around. Yeah. And just keep their eyes on Lamar. Would you maybe try to bring a safety? You know he's gonna scramble. Dude. Would you try to bring a safety down or no? That's what I mean. Yeah, someone. It's got to be someone quick, dude. Or you got to come out with some blitz packages off the edge and then clog up the middle so they, you force them outside. I don't know what you got to do. But now, what I will say. There's so many ways to go around it. Right. And if they're running pistol, you know, they're running like a jumbo package, stack the box, dude. Stack the box because they're going to run. So I think film is going to be, on a short week, film is going to be huge. Film and rest for getting defense. healthy. Like, I don't even worry about practicing like on the field. If I'm a, if I'm a d- player on the defense, I'm a player on the offense, especially defense. I'm looking at film this week, dude. Resting up and film, like you said. Yeah, but and what I will say, bro, is if you like, if you can stay in the game to the fourth quarter against the Ravens. Like I think one of the problems when we faced the Ravens, we got down early again. We were down 10 points going to late third into the fourth corner. If you can stay tied with them or stay within a field goal going into the fourth quarter, they've blown multiple fourth quarters. They blew it against the Steelers. They blew it against the Browns. They blew it against the Colts. Like they have blown multiple fourth quarter tight games and with our defense when they step up in the fourth quarter hence look at the Seattle game when we stopped them fourth down right in the red zone if you can do that dude 
your chances are going to go up exponentially. But the problem is it's hard to stay with that goddamn team. Look at the Lions when they beat them, when the Ravens beat them 38 to 3 or something. Wouldn't that be tragic? Or the fucking Seahawks when they burn them 37 to 6. It's like... They can get out of hand, dude. If you let them stomp on you early, you are fucked. Like, you're done. Absolutely here's, here's done. Here's the number one thing I'm nervous about is like, hurt on defense... And that's been our bread and butter. We're hurt on offense. You look at the last game, who turned up for two touchdowns in his only big game of the year? And he's not even fucking out there. Who? T. Higgins. Oh, yeah. And who do you do it against? Do it against? The The Ravens, Ravens, dude. So when it comes to the Ravens. So I don't know how. And Tyler Boyd's dropping end zone passes, so I don't really know, like. So when I don't really know how we're gonna get it done. So when it comes to the, I think we're gonna have to go under center this game, get double tight ends, get sample, get Irv, and Mixon, dude, you're gonna have to have a hundred yard plus game. I think he's got to go. We got to control the ball. He's got to go. We got to control the ball. He's got to go off. This has got to be like a San Fran type of game. Yeah, you got to pounce. We got to go under center, and I, and why like. I'm watching the Texans game. Bro, we never went under center again. It was all shotgun spread again. So, like, I mean, they were just trying to do a fucking aerial game versus aerial game, which you would think we would win against the Texans, but, dude, whatever you did against the 49ers, bro, you got to have some similar play style, some similar package to that. Right. Dude. Well, dude, our, our defense... Ha- when our defense takes the ball away, even when we were down, like they took the ball away twice against Brock Purdy. Right. Did we even Chase have it. any? What he had? Did he have an intercept? Like any? So he shoot? had that interception that was almost a pick six, and that's how we got back in the game. Like it, the, I don't know because you guys made me go in the fucking room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it worked. But anyway, the Ravens. So we have. We gotta have. And now, if we're gonna win this game, we gotta have two turnovers. Like two. Big I agree. Ones. Yeah. It's got to be a pick. Pick and a fumble. Pick on their side of the field, red zone. It's got to be a scoop. Scoop and almost score. You gotta, it's got to be something big. You got to make Lamar uncomfortable. There's got to be like a momentum you gotta get, shift. You got to get him to the ground. Dude, the Browns can do it. We can do it. So, I mean, they can be beat, dude. I mean, it's tough. but Yeah. But anyway, when it comes to the Ravens injury list, uh... Odell did not practice today. Jadavion Clowney did not practice today. Devin, Duner, Devin Duvernay light practice. Marlon Humphrey did not practice. That's big. If he's out, then... God, he's a problem, dude. He's pretty good. He fucking goes downhill, smacks him. Yeah. Fucking mouth. Morgan, Mo- uh, Morgan Moses is good. Josh Simpson did not play. Trenton Simpson did not play. Ronnie Stanley did not play. That's the O-tackle. That's pretty big. Cal Van Noy did not practice, but he should be good. Yeah, so basically you're looking at Odell. They're not, really, they're not really missing like too many key pieces. No, they? they're missing Odell, Clowney, and Humphrey. Clowney are, and Humphrey is the two biggest by far. Yeah, but Clowney's, all, not dude, Clowney's overrated. Odell's fucking overrated. Odell's washed. Clowney's overrated. He needs to retire, actually. Clowney's overrated too, man. That dude mm-hmm. went from being the number one pick to just being like a journeyman now. He's kind of not been like, he never like really blew up in the NFL. He got drafted off of one play. Now, was that play insane when he knocked the dude from Michigan's helmet off and picked up the fumble himself? Absolutely. You had to look at the stats. I don't want to be like calling him out and saying he's fucking ass, but. Yeah, I'd say he, he's, he's, a, he's a problem for sure, but. Yeah. But he, late, he, thought he was supposed to, I mean, he's supposed to be like a TJ Watt or He's something. supposed to be like a Miles Garrett. He's supposed to be yeah. J.J. Watt or something. Yeah. But anyway, speaking of the Ravens, like I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, the Ravens are at number three in NFL.com's latest power rankings. The top five teams, number one, the Eagles, two, the Chiefs, three, the Ravens, four, the Lions, and five, the 49ers are back in the top five. Oh, my. Do you have any problem with this top five, Cage? Top three is good. Bottom two are both frauds. So. Both fried? Who would you have in the top of uh, the uh, four and five spot? I still got Jacksonville. I think that was a fluke. Oh, come on, dude. 
Don't get off. Come on me. Stop sucking. Don't come on me. Stop Don't sucking come on me. the Jags dick. That's all I got to say. You like that Jaguar cock. <laughs> Yeah, I got that tiger on the chest. So. You want to hear some Jaguar stats? I'll, I'll give you some Jaguar stats. They lost 34 to 3 at home against the Niners. I don't really know, dude. The NFL is. Trevor Lawrence, 185 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. He was so bad that CJ Beathard got a pass in at the end of the game. ETN was 9 for 35, no touchdowns. Christian Kirk. 104 yards. I still really think, like, fuck the top five. I still think the only teams that are, like, almost unbeatable. The top that's, three. like, actually top. Everybody else, I've been looking at this top five, and everybody else is fucking in and out. In and out. Even the Chiefs. The only, the only actually really good teams, in my opinion, are the Eagles, Ravens, and then I got to go with the boys, obviously. So The boys. The boys. Who the? Honestly, dude, I do think when the boys are like full Healthy. health, yeah. we're top three. We are. Colin Coward still had us at five. I mean, if that says anything. Yeah, but. shout out to my boy, man. Colin. He loves the boys. No, I think he's got a good point. I think if we're healthy, we're dangerous, dude. Yeah. That's the problem, though, is. You see, you see the 49ers, they're in the top five. Well, they just we got healthy. Fucking, we worked that out. They ju- but they just got healthy, too. They got Trent Williams back. We, we, they we got did. Chase Young. They That's got true. Debo we kinda, back. Uh, we kind of played them on a down slope. Yeah. So we maybe, got, maybe we're not as good. Honestly. Yeah. But speaking of bad... Okay, so... Oh, God, know, dude. The NFL, they, that fucking, it's so up and down, That bro. fucking Monica chick is, <laughs> is calling me right now. Jesus. All right, give the, since we're on the subject... You want to skip? So the, you and Monica, you guys go out for an Italian dinner, right? Yeah. So we'll switch up the subject. So yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, okay. So I take this girl it's out. It's mine a lot, so we got to cover. So I take this girl out, go to a nice Italian restaurant. You know, a little Lots bit of sports, boys. Come on. A little bit, little, little bit over a hundred bucks. Not to say that to brag, but just to give like context into the story and everything. I mean, that's pretty but, typical. I mean, you look at inflation. That's typical now, dude. Yeah, unfortunately, bro. Fucking Bidenomics and shit. But anyway, it. This is not like Bidenomics. I never heard of that. That's so nice. go to the Italian restaurant, have a good time, having good conversation, Bottle just one? chilling out. What? Bottle of wine. Uh, I had a glass of wine. She had a amaretto sour, which is pretty fucking oh, good. Damn, this girl just got like two ranks up in the. Like I thought she was bad, but like the amaretto sour, dude. I like a girl that likes amaretto. Sour. <laughs> you like a girl that likes amaretto sour. Like, you get some. You get some bonus points for that. Yeah, but anyway, so you ever had one? I, that was the first time I ever tried one. It actually wasn't bad. First time? Yeah. Bro, because amaretto is probably one of the best drinks ever made. Well, amaretto is not really like a hard liquor drink, right? It's more of a liqueur. I know, but it's a great drunk if you have enough. Well, dude, I like keep you can smack, you can have like ten of them and be feeling great. I like amaretto cokes. You ever had those? Oh, those are fire too. It's got it tastes like I haven't had that in a while. Tastes like a uh, Doctor Pepper at Thanksgiving, bro. Yep. But anyway, so like I said, good dinner, good conversation, having a good time. We go back to her place. We're like one. We're try. I, I like I said. I suggested. I was asking. This what is you, this is Bumble Batty, by the way. What? This is Bumble Batty, right? Yeah, Bumble Batty. Yeah. So we go back to her place because we're both tired. We both kind of want to just chill and stuff. She says, uh, "I'm suggesting like movie ideas, TV show ideas." So we start watching Black Mirror, which I told her, "I'm like, hey, well, that's a risky pick." Right yeah. There. Well, I told her, "I'm like, hey." Are you sure you don't want to watch like role models or something like that's yeah. super funny? Like this Fucking show, grown ups. Like or this sh- yeah, yeah, like this show's kind of fucked up. But but she didn't even stay up to watch the show. She asked me to set her timer. Who the fuck me. falls asleep during Black Mirror number one? Which yeah. is tough to fall asleep to. But she basically. Well, what episode did you throw on? I'm gonna ask that. The second one. Which is what? It's the uh, American Idol one. The girl who is the sing, she goes and tries out. It's the, oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, okay. uh, it's not bad. It's the, uh, you know the. Uh, I've seen some crazy ones. Yeah, you, ever, you know the, the guy one where they like go and the they have to like fight it out in the forest and shit. 
That one's fucking crazy. They have the what? They're like videoing the whole time. I don't know how they get them out there, but like they had to fight in the forest to like to the death to get out of the forest. Oh, you're talking about shut up and dance where the kid got caught jerking off in front of the... Is that the same one? Yeah, where he gets caught jerking off in front that of the... That one's fucked, dude. That one's fucked because that one's the most realistic. Like that could happen. Like he had, to, he had to go out there and fight. That, that was the one he had to fight in the forest. Well, so he, uh, the kid's like fourteen or fifteen years old, and so he's, you know, a horny little bastard. Yeah. And he jerks off. At, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's they, the same episode, though. Yeah. So they tape him. They tape him jerking oh, yeah. off, and then they basically blackmail him the whole episode. The bank one was crazy. And the museum one's fucked. The nuts. museum one's fucked up, bro. That one's fucked. The dude, dude that gets high off dead people in Black Museum. The guy who plays Vision. That one's crazy. He plays bro. Vision in Marvel. Like that one's like what? Like what, bro? What's the one where they? Hate? The guy got paid to do like experiments or something. Oh, I can't think of it, dude. Yeah, but anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the other crazy one is that, like, Star Trek one. Yeah, that, that one, one. I think that one that won. One's fucked, that too. one was nominated for an Emmy, or it might have won. That one was crazy, too. Yeah. But anyway, so, like I said, we start watching it, and she basically passed. She tells me, to, she asked me to, she, li- well, didn't really ask me, but she tells me to, hey, uh, can you set a timer for 20, like 20 minutes later? I'm like, okay. Passes out. <laughs> like passes out for twenty oh, minutes. Oh, so she was like pre, re- like prepping you up to kick you out. Okay, I guess. But even then, like, why are you asking for a timer for twenty minutes? Yeah. So, well, then, <laughs> so then she wait. So then the alarm goes off. She's like, "Can you set it for another twenty minutes?" I'm like, "Okay, I yeah, like yeah, fine, whatever." Yeah. So set it for another twenty minutes. Then she asked. She, then she's like, uh, um, "She's like, you want to go?" Cut, like do you want to go in my room and hang out and stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah. so yeah so we go in a room we're cuddling and stuff like that and then it's like 2 30 in the morning she's laying on me half naked yeah boy. And basically yeah boy. and then she goes yeah i think i'm about to pass out um do you mind leaving i'm like uh okay she's like yeah i just i uh I have trust. She basically said, I just, I feel weird if I'm asleep and there's someone else in, in my apartment. Cause you know, I don't really trust them yet and stuff. I'm like, Oh, okay. I mean, not to sound like a dick, but you, you trusted me to pay for over a hundred dollars for fucking dinner. I mean, but I anyway, still haven't taxed her, right? Still. Haven't no. Taxed. So Lily, as we're speaking on this podcast, she just tried to call me. No, call in. Calling right now. I'm Two not for the no, fans. Two for no, the fans. no, 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 no. Dude, just like, just see what she says. I already know what she's gonna say. She's gonna fucking. Bro, just do it, bro. No, 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 the no. The pod no. might blow up. No, <laughs> no, it not off up. that. Not off that. But anyway, we'll just keep it light. Basically, be like, yo. I'm on a podcast. You got anything to say to the people? Like, be funny about it. No, dude, that'd be fucking terrible. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> what? <laughs> but anyway, you just gotta play it off. Bro. Well, let me ask you this, man. In your humble, in your opinion, I won't say humble opinion, but in your opinion, I don't know how humble I am. What is I'm a okay? Cage. If a girl, if a girl was to break it off with you, mm. so not you breaking it off, but if a girl was to break it off with you, what would be how would you want to be broken off? Like, how would you want a girl to break up with you? I don't know, man. Like, what, this hasn't okay. happened to the raised kids too many times. Well, so. let me ask you this. Would you rather her break up with you in person, talking on the phone, or through text, or being ghosted? Those are your oh, four. Oh, I think, it, I think it just a good phone call is good. A phone call? Yeah. So you're saying I got to talk to her and break her off, break her off with a phone call? I think that's the e- like easiest, respectable way without having to like fucking deal with it, like in person. Yeah, like, I'm what not are you doing gonna, it. What are you gonna get out of it in person? Yeah, I've done you can't that. do it by text because that's pussy shit. Is that pussy shit? Shit. 
<laughs> so I had it. this message. Try, you want to hear the so message? Just break it off right now. You want to hear on the, the pod? You want to hear the break it off right no, now? You want to hear the? Let me. Here's the message I had drafted up. You ready for it? <laughs> Here's the message I had drafted. Oh, up. you drafted. I, I haven't sent it. Yeah, I drafted it up. Don't, don't. I'm don't not. Do I'm that. not gonna send right, it. I read it off. I'm not gonna send read it, it. Read it off like to her if you're gonna, like call her, but you can still read off the message, so you can still use it. Oh uh, well, she just called me fake in a text. But anyway, all right, <laughs> I'll read that off. <laughs> I'll read that off too. But anyway, she. The message I was going to send, which I'm not going to, because apparently only. I got to be a, not a pussy and call her and shit. But I said, hey, I'm sorry for being hard to get a hold of recently. Honestly, I don't want to waste any of your time because you seem like a nice and awesome person. I had to really think about it. And if I'm being honest at this point, I don't think I'm ready to be in a full on relationship with someone. I don't want to waste any, any, any more of your time because I know it's super valuable. And I'm sorry again for everything. It wasn't too bad, but like you said, it's a text. Now, here's what she she sent that me. Seemed like a so one pretty two, easy way out, right? There. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, she sent me seven texts since last night. I think you, so. You don't like this girl. I just don't want to like. Like you really don't like. Her? There's been some signs. Like, okay, for example, sign number one: trust issues. Okay. I'm not here What's like I hate to say this but at this point in my life I'm not trying to be a therapist. Like <laughs> like right. I, I didn't get it together by now. Uh, Fuck it. Like I'm not trying to be a therapist. And in two, what in what way? In what way? She exes or Yeah. Like she kept mentioning how some like there's one time I tried to like um like kiss her on the neck or something like that and oh, she yeah. and she like backed away and like then told me a story about how this one of her exes did this and that. Like, that happened, like, three times. Like, where I did something, and then she would say, like, yeah. one of her yada yada, like, exes did yada 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 and stuff like that. Um, two, there's been time. She, she self-admitted, she has self-admitted that she's clingy. And to me, clingy seems a little, so, like, it's not See, always the case, but it's know, sometimes a little like, That sounds like needy. That's sounds, sounds like a little like. low self-esteem right sounds there. Sounds needy. Like, so you can't like be worried. Like, if I don't text you for over five hours or I just haven't texted you that day, it's not because I don't want to text. Like, you have to have the confidence to know that I'm not not texting you because I don't want to. It's because maybe I'm busy at work or maybe I got shit that I got to oh, do. And so stuff you're like. not, like, giving her 24 so attention. I mean, I usually text her, like, every day and stuff. How often? Because this is this is my problem too. Like I I was doing it a lot, and then I stopped doing it, and then I got in trouble. Yeah, that's what happened. Like I was because te- yeah, you're dude. you're excited. See, like if you don't keep it up, if you don't pump those numbers up, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, you got to be consistent, like the posting, like the Instagram post. It's just like put content or something, dude. Like, yeah, you got to be fucking. Consistent. <laughs> it's like goddamn content. It's like the goddamn. Well, I'll say page. this. Number one thing about a relationship, dude, it is a lot of work. And it's hell a lot yeah, of it's a lot of work, dude. It's a lot of effort. Fuck yeah. If you're busy, it's really hard to maintain. It's a lot of money too. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of money, man. Just dates, yeah. Yeah, man. But it's nice when you get to a point where you're both making. That's why I like a girl that's got a little bag on her, man. Because like at some point, maybe at first. You're going to get that return on your investment. <laughs> I guess she's going to start buying you shit. So. Yeah. I've never had that happen. Well, really? not, not since high school. Lily have not had that happen since Tori, high school. Tori, she had money. Mana, she had money. So, like, my girl's got money. Nah, dude. I've always bought shit. And, I don't, and I've always said, I don't mind paying for stuff. But my biggest, one of my biggest. Yes, you do. Buy, you do. Buy. I buy a lot. I buy, yeah. But one of my biggest pet peeves, and honestly, one of the quickest ways for me to never talk to you again is when you start feeling entitled to my money. Like. Oh, I, you've had that too? The, the, the fucking Heather girl? Yeah, dude. Like. Oh, God. Dude. When she came over without me knowing and stuff like that, I was like. We were talking. So you gotta get a girl that buys you a shot. 
Or that's just, what you need. Like maybe go both. Like you need maybe like twenty five percent. you lunch. Maybe like twenty five percent of the time. Like I don't mind paying for seventy five percent of the time, but like maybe just once in a while. Like, like I'll tell you what. At least my, split my girl the check. At work, my girl at work, green flag. She uh, sure he, she bought first rounds of shots, so that's a green flag. I've never had a girl buy me a shot. I don't think ever. I've always bought the shots. Really? I swear to God, dude, I'm not lying. Wow, dude. I mean, I bought a lot of girls shots, but like, I've had quite a few that bought. I don't think me. I've ever had that happen. And I'm, tr- I'm not bullshitting either. Like, I'm Sarah not trying bought, to be a. Sarah like, bought me some drinks too over the weekend. Yep. But it was like that 25 percent you were. Just I said, about. look, it was that 25 percent since. Now, when you get up to that 50, hell, sometimes when it's it's nice when it's at like 60, 40, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's when it's nice. But I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be like that. But I don't know. I mean, it's just like, and the, I mean, yeah, like, I, like I said, I like I don't mind paying for stuff like the majority of the time. But don't like it's, if you feel like my money is your money, you're about to like I'm hitting the I'm hitting the nuclear button right there and blowing this shit up. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 turning the key, I'm and just go. Right, what's like, the ma- so what do you think is like the max dollar if you had to set a price? Oh God! On like where you're like you're spending too much on her and she hasn't spent anything on you. Like percentage wise, or what do you mean? Amount, amount. Yeah, like yeah, four, five hundred, three hundred. Like, are we talking like? Are we talking like a thousand, eight hundred? So, what's the situation? Is it a date? You've been buying her shit nonstop. Is it a date? Like you've gone on five dates. So, it, the or you've hung out. Let's just say you don't even go on dates. Let's say you've hung out five plus times, and let's say that you spent over five hundred dollars, and she hasn't bought anything for you. Are you cutting it off? Well, I mean, it depends how much you're making. Are you talking about me personally? Yeah. Okay, so what I make, I make a, I make a, like... Well, you don't have to get all that. Yeah, no. I, what I'm saying is I make a little bit above average salary. So I'm, I'm making a little bit above okay. average salary. Keeping so it real. I'm okay. not... Yeah, I'm not poor for any sake. Like, I'm living in Obviously a good apartment. Yeah, okay. but I'm not rich as fuck either. Like, so I would say if I spent... I mean, $500 for five dates... That's like a nice dinner you're going out for those five dates. And maybe going to the right, bar after. She hasn't bought you a shot. She hasn't bought you a drink. She hasn't bought a case of claws come over. She hasn't bought... Hasn't bought shit. She hasn't done anything. Like I said, man, if you, as long as you don't feel entitled, like put it this way. If I'm the, like, if I'm the one... If I'm, if I'm, All right, so here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. If he's getting cheeks, he doesn't give a fuck about the price. How no, about no, no, that? no, 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 no. If he's getting good no, cheeks... No, no. He'll drop 2K on you, baby. So he come, come <laughs> through, baby. Come through. No, no, what I'm saying is if I'm enjoying, if I think you're like, if I think you're it, like if I think this relationship actually is going to go somewhere and I'm actually wanting to put the work in, then yeah, if, if I'm going to have a good time because that hundred, that hundred dollars is probably going to go towards her as opposed to me going out one Saturday night or me going out to so a game what or is something. Like this, let's just give me a dollar amount where you're like, all right, it's time for you to pay. I don't know if I can give you a dollar amount, but I would say like you spent a grand. No, I would say like 80 percent of the time I'll probably pay eighty to ninety percent of the time. So I'm fine with paying. You do the stuff. math. Nine hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, like that nine hundred bucks can be spread out and stuff. But I'm saying like eighty to ninety percent of the time, if it's like a dinner, if it's like alcohol or out, ladies, stuff like bro. that. If you ain't got it, if I spent over uh, like two hundred on you and no no reward, well what what reward I'm are we talking about? What reward are we talking about, Cage? What reward are we talking about, Cage? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? We ain't yeah. talking about the reward that bandit that the Cowboys would get when they shoot the bad guy. What reward are we talking so, about? I'll be honest with you, fuck the dollar amount. I it's the percentage that matters, man. I like uh. Any girl that I have that's been good to me, like they've they've offered to like do something like right away, and that's how I know it's a good girl. Yeah, that's how I know it's a good girl. I don't know, man. I haven't like so I fuck with that. 
I just like, I don't know. Yeah. If you've never had that, then you got to get you that. I mean, dude, oh God, am I, I don't, should I get, I don't want to get real personal on the pod. I mean, dude, I haven't had like, so the longest relationship I had was about six months. Longest relationship I ever had. That was in high school. So it's what like. What happened with that? Well, we were just going to college. Like we were. She, like, she was going to Charleston and I was going to OU. So it's like, I don't want to start off. Bro, my, I don't even remember you dating anybody in high school, to be honest. Yeah, senior year. I remember you did it like one girl when we like first started driving, it felt like, or something. Yeah. Like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I remember that girl. Yeah. But no, yeah. So like college. Yeah, you guys, I thought you like really liked her or something. Well, it's just like college. I think that was like your first love, right? College, I, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Everyone has the, like that first love right, in right, high right. school and stuff. But like in college, I mean, freshman, sophomore year, I was kind of having a, having a good time. And I mean, I had like... Were you guys dating in college or no? No, no, no. For we like broke it off. We or? broke it off before we got to college. Okay. Yeah. But then junior year... In person was, or by text? Uh, in person. Okay. Yeah, but in... But junior year, kind like kind of settled down, but wasn't in like a relationship or anything like that. Cause it's fucking Athens. Where I'm, where I'm gonna take a girl out to dinner? Take fucking her, take Texas her, Roadhouse. Take her, what's that freshman pizza place? Uh, seaside. Sit courtside. Take them to Seaside. Uh, not courtside. Uh, what's the other like grimy? Red Fred, brick. Red, red <laughs> brick, baby. Red brick. <laughs> I see that one place is a good, like, it's not really a date spot, but it's something that one on the corner your buddy used to work at. Bronies? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Bronies? Or no, man, name is not. What's the, it's that pizza place be- right before that. Courtside. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, but if Courtside. God, a, I miss that place. I love but that. You couldn't I would t- love to have a picture there. That's but, like, you can't take them to, like, a nice-ass restaurant. Like, Lily, the nicest restaurant in Athens, Ohio yeah, what do you guys got? is Texas Roadhouse. You that's guys, the nicest that's restaurant it. in Athens, Ohio. You guys definitely have like a steakhouse or something. Oh, hell no. Yeah, it's called Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> and you have to have a car to get there. You guys got Bob Evans probably out there. But yeah, but who gives a fuck about Bob Evans? Who gives a fuck about Bob Evans? Fuck Bob Evans. My ass, bro. You ever had their banana bread? <laughs> I'm not taking a date there, bro. Brunch. I, what? I'm always going it's to like t- the best food no. for the prize. It's I'm, al- I'm always going Italian. I fucking love mm. Italian food, man. You're not even Italian, bro. I don't give a shit. <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't like it. I fucking love Italian, dude. Fucking classy. It's simple. You know what I like? Comes I like out. fucking hibachi, bro. When they fucking... Hibachi's not bad. When they fucking slice it up and... King Kong! You gotta catch it in your mouth and they do the onion tower yeah. and the sake Damn bombs. straight. Yeah, dude. Hibachi's fucking awesome. Kabuto? Hibachi's like the only time I like vegetables <laughs> for some reason. Dude, my next... And you gotta go with a group. So, like, if you're listening to this pod... It has to be a group. I want to roll 6-8 deep yep. to Hibachi. That's gotta be on the calendar here soon. I gotta do that. We That's, gotta, like, long due. We gotta make that happen. I could just be even the boys. Fuck we should have do that with the girl. girls last night. Get Except <sighs> for the fucking great. one. Except for the one. Oh, we're getting into that? We'll get into that later. But anyway, yeah. So basically, all right. So we're Here, back on sports. Oh, well, hold on. Here's the text she just sent me. Oh, my. Still dealing with it. Here's the text she just sent me. I don't know why you're being so immature. You could just tell me how you feel instead of acting like an adolescent. Awesome. I mean, I thought we were both adults here. I guess not. Are you Wait, sure? you keep you- reading it, right? Is that why she keeps texting? I, I don't have read receipts on. Oh, I haven't had read receipts on since like high school, dude. <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, I got read receipts on. Nah, hell no. Like, I'll let you know if I read your She shit. said, I thought we were both adults here. I guess not. Are you sure you want to end it this way? I don't think that's a good idea. I'm making other plans tonight. Also, sorry. I thought you were a little more grown, but I was wrong. Tells me you fake ooh. He's going to be happy you fell through. Well, I think you need to like good step, luck getting into Google. I think you need Google. to step out the poverty. She said, call her ass, <laughs> "She dude. said, good luck getting into Google, dog." What does that even mean? Google? Yeah, I don't know. She works. She Are she you working at Google? No, she brags that she works at Google, and it's like, 
Okay. Cool. Oh, oh wow. She works at Google? She's like an automation engineer or something like that. Oh, shit. She's got money. I don't give a shit if she has money or not, dude. Like, that's one thing. Like, I don't count that. Like, I mean. I mean, I, it, for me, it's not like the end all be all. Like, don't get me wrong. But, like, it's it's nice to have. But, it, like, if she sucks, she still sucks. I mean, to me, I don't even think about it. Like, I'm not focused on. I'm a little on, different on that. But, yeah. I'm not focusing on her bank account. But. Anyway, that's basically my whole situation, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll see. Maybe I might give her a call. I don't know, bro. I don't really want to. I don't really want to fucking. Are you thinking about just blocking and ghosting? Huh? I mean, I've done that before. A little block and ghost. I mean, what's gonna happen? Like, huh? I know a a block and ghost. I never. I feel like the right thing to do as a a gentleman and like the universe. Just give her a. Heart to heart, Cole. I think that's like the right. Yeah, but dude, I've done that before, and honestly, it gives her closure at least. Ah, uh, yeah. And it gives you closure. To, I mean, she already. It sounds like she's already got closure, bro, because you just called no, me fake and everything. Not. Just called me fake and everything like that. But anyway, that's just her crying out, dude. Come I don't. On. I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm. I don't. <laughs> I don't know, just bro. Just give her a call, bro. We're on like a seven day bender. You got nothing to lose. Dude. Yeah. But anyway, gonna, <laughs> I don't even know how to make this transition. But I don't know. What the, what the fuck you want to talk bottom about? Five. We've gone off the rails already. Uh, bottom five. Yeah, yeah. I get, you know, fuck football, I guess. We're yeah. Just, but any, hey, how about this? All right, we're just going on right into pop. How about this? Let's talk about that then. I'll give you, I'll give you one topic. You know what? We're going off the rails this point. I'll give you one topic. Here's one topic. Ladies and gentlemen... If you haven't heard, Miss Lane of the Plug <laughs> and Mr. Adam22 have a reality show. Bro, right, he's so good at podcasting too, by the way. They have a reality show, and I'm gonna I'm looking it up. I I got I gotta tell you the name of it, dude. Have you ever seen her like in action? What define inaction? <laughs> define inaction. Have you like seen any of these videos or like, of her like her? Are this her, girl? her her adult film star work? Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, I don't nah. Know. When's the last time you think you've been like on the hub? On the hub? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like fuck, like. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be honest, or you want me to be fucking? To be honest, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, like. Two, three weeks ago. Wow. Yeah, like really? two, three weeks ago. What are you firing up? Brandy Love? Brandy Love's not bad. <laughs> Brandy Love's not bad. The stepdaughter. The fucking step, the step stepfather. Mom, the stepmother. <laughs> the stepmom. Shit. Stepdaughter, stepmom. Those are the best, um, honestly. Little, I don't know, man. Little I Ebony, think, a little I outside. Think, I think Rochelle Ryan's pretty fucking hot, too, bro. Who's the other one? L- Lana Rhodes? No, Lana Rhodes goes hard. <laughs> she like she gets clapped. Uh, bro, she gets that fucking anal. I'm thinking the one I used to watch when I was twelve. She would go in, <laughs> twelve, yeah. twelve. That's probably the last time I've watched, man. Since twelve, you're lying. That's cap. No cap. You haven't watched porn since twelve years old. Ah, nah, probably like fourteen and fifteen. That's still bullshit. I don't. You didn't watch it all in college. Nah, when I started clapping, bro, I stopped watching. You didn't watch it at all in senior year of high school? Not at all in college? No. Cap. Well, college? Cap. Bro. Cap. No, especially not college. Cap. We we throw it up in the frat just for fun every now and again as a group just to fuck around. Okay. Yeah, it's still, that's even weirder when you're watching with a bunch nah. of dudes. When you're drunk as fuck with the boys and you're just no. like. No. That's weird. That shit is hilarious. It's son. weird. No, it no. ain't. Your boy ain't gonna stab you with a chub next to you. He, he might. <laughs> he might. <laughs> he might, but like you'll be all right. He might. He, you'll be all right. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm throwing hands. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lane of the Plug and Adam 22, they have a reality show. It's called For the Love of Lena. And what it is, it's 10 dudes in one house. Adam's in the same house too. Ten dudes. Ten dudes. I thought, first, it was like, I thought it was a threesome. So the goal of the show like is they're trying like out. they'll get other girls with him. So the goal of the show, 
So the way, so Plug Talk. Their oh, pl- this is like new. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Plug Talk, their podcast, that's always been where they've interviewed one girl and then they, he oh, fucks. this is something else. That he okay. fucks both of them. This is a reality show where 10 dudes are living in the same house and they're trying out these guys through this reality show to see for the first time which one they're going to have a threesome with with two dudes and one girl. <laughs> and it's literally the first episode is called 10 Men Compete for My Wife. <laughs> like, bro, what is going on today? So, man? number one. What is going on? Number one, would you ever do it with another guy? W- would I what? Would you ever do it with another guy? A threesome? Yeah. Like You, a guy, and a girl. No. Never. No. Even if it was like Megan Fox. Who's the other guy, man? Like, I gotta look, like, at some point, who, if anybody, there's gonna be one well, awkward that's a moment. Good, good follow up question. I mean, who would you do it with? Then? No one. No lie. Because at one point, dude. Like, if you could do it, if you had to do it with somebody, who would it be? I'm not even answering that. Come on. I'm not, no, I'm Come not on. even answering We're that. On the grouse zone. Because that means, no. We're on the grouse zone. Because I, dude, I don't, no, okay. My, my, I don't care if you're straight, gay, Buy whatever, like just say race have, change. Have, have a good time. If, any, if you were to do with anybody, have a good change. time. Yeah, just yeah, don't, yeah. just don't be an asshole. I, like do what you want. Just don't be an asshole to me. But dude, as a, like as a honest straight right. man, no, I can't. I can't do that. Let's be honest. I mean, it probably never happened, but you never know. I have a few guys. I have a few guys. Like if she was super bad, like I, I do. it. I don't know, man. I don't think I could ever I do, do that. Because I, I know guys at mine. some point, there's going to be some awkward moment that I'm literally not going to like, I'm going to have nightmares for my, like, for the next three months at least. There's going to be at one point some awkward I, moment. I think so, like, one of them, you know, make me feel a lot better. One guy's got a condom on and the other guy doesn't. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? Because at least somebody, you know, we're not like double touching. <laughs> Dude, if that ever happened, I don't know what I, I don't know what I would do. I really don't know what I would do. I'd d- probably just get up and leave. Like, my like. I mean, a little pterodactyl never hurt you. Know? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you said pterodactyl on the grouse on podcast. Well, pterodactyl never hurt you. But anyway, like, what do you see? That's like no, no. You know what I mean? Like, you just really don't want to cross paths with your guy. So maybe, like, one guy takes him out, one time, you know, brings it all the way home. Would you, would you do it? Would you have, so, would Adam 22? Is that, would you fuck Lena? I'll do it with my boy Adam. Go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Adam 22, hell no. I would do it with somebody, like, that's close to me. I don't know, dude. Is that at least I, like, I don't know. That's your boys. I, I like. That's a little. I can't, I couldn't do it, man. I, I I honestly couldn't do it. But anyway, two girls though. You ain't messing around. Oh, bro. What are we talking about? What What, what oh. are we talking? What are we talking about? <laughs> two girls. What are though. we talking about? I mean, come on now. Like, what are we talking about? But on a scale, what are we talking about? You ever been close? Huh? Cause I've been close a couple times. I've uh. Actually, I have my, I had an opportunity. I closed one time. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, once? Like, I, yeah, I had that shit happen junior, <laughs> junior year of college. No. Yeah, man. Bro, how are you not telling everybody this? I don't like talking about my business, bro. Oh, you got to give me the rundown. Like, please start from I mean, the top. Please start from the top. I was kind of trashed. I don't really remember. Okay. Like, you're trash. You went to a party? No, I went to a bar. You went to a bar? Went to a bar. Bronies. Went to Bronies? I think. Yeah, I think it was Lucky at Bronies. bronies. Lucky just, Bronies? So you're there. You're hanging out with your, your boys. There's two chicks. Like, what, what are we talking about? I mean, I probably was hanging out with some, like, some of my friends and stuff. And they were probably around. And then... I probably just so started. these two girls. You're taking shots with two girls or what? I, dude, I we probably had a drink. I don't. I really like. I was 
kind of yeah. trash. Super All I remember is we pro like I don't even remember like we probably talked at the bar a lot and stuff. Yeah. And then I remember walking back home and I had my arms both around the, <laughs> both around their shoulders. Like I, I was walking in the middle and then I went back and we went back, smoked some weed in my living room. Oh, that's the key right and there. And then that's key right there. Y'all want to chill upstairs and yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what did you do? Like, how did you navigate it? Like, you got more than one. So, like, you, I mean, like, kind of were like, just, you, like, they I laying mean, on the, they laying on the bed, and you're, like, going, taking I, turns, I mean, like, we're, we were kinda, one's on top, one's, like, in your, in your face, I mean, like. I, honestly, dude, you kind of just, we're kind of getting after it, so we're just going with the flow, <laughs> like, just whatever. Like, are they, like, more focused on you, or is, like, the girl focused on the other girl? Like, what's the. Like, give I, me, give me a couple, oh give me a couple God. formations oh here. God. We got two I, on one. We don't have one on one. I mean, I was kind of like. There's so many combinations. <laughs> I'm like, like, I mean, they were kind of mo mostly focused on me the whole time and stuff, and just so they're like double stroking. What? Well, we got double head, double stroke. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, little bit of that, yeah. I oh, mean, that's crazy, bro. I mean, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> was, and then they're just like nice. taking turns on top. Are you like? You're going in, you're going in on top, and then you just switch right, it over. All right. I'm not gonna get into all the details. All I'll say is like Nah, fuck that. Bro. No, no, That's I'm not getting bro. I'm That's not legendary. getting into all in the details. All I'll say is I, like a good amount of the time <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say a good amount of the time. One was on one was on my bottom half and one was on my face. And that's all I'll say oh, about it. And that's all I'll say no. about that. They were both riding, it just depended on what part of my body they were on. That's what I'll say. Oh, that's legendary, bro. So I was mostly on my back. Yeah, you know, there's just two, letting them do the work. Yeah, there are two fives and two sixes, that adds up to twelve. <laughs> oh, that's past ten. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was bro, that, that was, was legendary. That bro. was probably uh, that was a good night. Oh, that you, was a good night. Oh yes. <laughs> oh you. Oh yeah. But anyway, would I ever? Bro, I know you're a legend in the frat after that. Well, I didn't like. I was a legend in my house, but I, didn't, I wasn't gonna tell the whole frat like just what I did. Oh, that shit would have got out. I feel like if that would happen to me, everybody would have known. I mean, like even my everybody. I mean, the whole even fucking like, campus would. Like even like Andrew, like even my buddies, like Andrew and them know and stuff like that. So it got out, but I like I like I said I I can't believe I didn't know that. That's well, crazy. I like I don't go out of my way to tell people that. Like I'm not gonna be the one to brag about like what I did last night and stuff. I just can't believe it's never like come up. Like I said, I, I mean I don't really want to. I don't really bring it up because it's not like. I said, I'm not trying to brag about her. You're always anything. talking about I got all these trouble with these girls, but here you are having fucking two on one. That was all back right, in so that was back in college though, bro. College is I don't want to hear shit college, from you anymore. College is easy, man. College is easy. Like Oh, you can say that again. Let's be honest. The dude, the first two years of college, all you like all you had to do was talk. If you could talk, like Really? At least at OU. If you could just talk and hang out. Well, I had a girl my freshman year, so I don't know. But second yeah, year. Yeah, you were, you were hitched up to a fucking second maniac year was, the freshman year. Second year was fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> second year, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like. Then kind of like junior year was still good, but like it started dying down a little bit towards the end, honestly. Junior year, junior year was the time when I was like, okay, I kind of want to get in a relationship. Or just have like a girl that's I think like. That, that's what happened. I did it the same thing. I got in a relationship, yeah. too. Cause first two years I had a couple, I, I, I had a little bit I of fun. I had one like crazy year and yeah. a half and that was it. And then I was like, okay, I, like junior, cause I knew junior year was like my last year where I was going to go. Like it was like my last year of like that fun college. Cause senior, senior you kind of, you kind of like, you got the itch like, all right, I want to get the fuck out of here. Like yeah, I'm tired of living in Athens. I'm tired of going to fucking class and not making money. Like yeah, I want to make money. To you're, you're I'm ready, ready to, to move out. I'm ready to live out. Like, oh, no, I know. We just went back to college. We went back to UC yesterday, so <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we went to the rec center, though, so at least that we're doing sick. something beneficial. 
But yeah, like yeah, we did get a good workout. I'd huh? be more concerned if we went back to fucking Woody's or fucking Ladder instead of going back to like the rec center. Yeah, we were in the hot tub in the pool. Like, dude, if we were still going basketball. to Woody's at twenty six. Like I said, oh, Chris already. Hansen would literally be like, have a seat right there. I wanted to talk to you. I need to talk to you. You had to get on Dr. Phil. Yeah, like fuck. that would be concerning as fuck. Because then you're like, you can't fall in love with college, man. You got to move on at some point. Like, you can't fall yeah, in love Yeah, I really, I did miss it for a while. I don't really. I was telling you the other day, I was like, this is the closest thing to college. And this is the best thing in the world, man. Yeah, but it's. I think this Down is here. It's the best thing but I think this is the closest uh this is the closest to work hard play hard cuz in college you don't work at like come on you're going to fucking class <laughs> yeah, you're dude right, you're right. you don't work shit you're drinking on I a know, Tuesday the best, the best for me it was work hard play hard too like I, I got my first internship at fifth third I was raking in so much mo- like I was making like 18 18 an hour Back then, as plus, a college kid, yeah, plus OT, and that's a that was a lot back yeah, then. Yeah, for college, that's not like, dude, college, you can get by in so a like, night with twenty five. I was buying every girl shot because like yeah. I had saved up my money like for the summer. The frat was cheap. Like I was that guy. You were that guy. I'm him. I'm him. Like you, like if you were going out, you were coming out with me, and I was getting you shots. Like and shot, dude. And we were having a good time. The cost of shots in and college. And it was pricey, don't get me wrong, but like I spent, don't get me wrong, dude. I spent every nickel and dime I could, which is like looking back, not smart, but yeah. I mean, it's a trade off, dude. I had the best time of my life back then, so I'm not going to like regret that at all. I don't know, dude. I think the best time of my life right now is, is right, or the best time of my life is right now. Like, wow. Yeah, that's saying a lot for me. Then shit. I mean, I had like I said, I had fun. No, lately, dude. And I'll tell you what. When we first moved in, it was like you know we're getting our shit together. But like, but that's why I keep saying it feels like college again. Because like now I feel like we're in a phenomenal spot. We can go out anytime. And we're making money. My money is like, like it's not. I'm getting, I'm getting back on track with the funds. Yeah, it's not. Like, like, I'm in a like, especially this week. Girls just came in from out of town, like, I, like I feel like I'm in a really, like pretty good spot to like make a move, man. Yep. But I, I mean, like, like I said, like, I love freshman and sophomore room. year were fun because you had freshman and sophomore year are fun because you have no responsibility, dude. Like that's the best part about it. You can drink like you, you can only fuck have off. responsibility all college until yeah. like fifth year, dude. Like you can kind of. I took a fifth year. Even senior year, I was fucking around. Really? Yeah, like, you can fuck around and stuff. Like, you go, you can't, you, until your last year, like, so you, that would be your senior year. Like, you can't fuck around. Yeah, like, it's you're time to get about real. Getting a job. I remember that was stressful. Like, you worry about ending on a good note with your grades. Because, like, people want to see that you're, like, upslope and not downslope. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Because. But. Anyway, so like, give me give me like your best theme party, man. Best theme party. All right, so I'll, I'll give I'll give you two. I'll give you, so the nice. be- best theme party we ever had, freshman year, fifteenth South High Street, Catalina wine mixer. Okay, run me you know through. why? Run you know through. why it's the best theme? Because it's the goddamn Catalina you wine ever mixer. Been? What? You ever been there? No, I, I just haven't. went there. Huh? I just went there. Awesome. This year. Was it awesome? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. Some people are fucked up everywhere. How much was it? Do you mind flying. if I ask how much was it? To like get there? Like the... How did you, first, how did you get there? How, you got to take a ferry. No, like were you invited? Like how... Do you have to buy a ticket? How do you yeah, get... Yeah, you got to buy a ferry ticket. And it's like at least 80 bucks. But then how much is it to actually get and into the mixer? You, and then you got to rent a golf cart to get around. Okay. Which is like 100 bucks. Okay. What about to get into the actual mixer, though? Doesn't that cost money? Oh, I guess, I guess you got me there. Like, I wasn't at the, like, the mixer, I guess. But they probably have some. They probably have like, oh, a Oh, you're saying you're in Catalina. Is that what you were saying? No, the island. I'm talking about, but did you go to the mixer, though? I mean, they probably have it, but it probably didn't have. Wait, they didn't have it when I was there. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
Okay, I thought you actually went to the mixer. That's why I was like, damn, like 180 bucks just like... Oh, the mixer? That's probably like... It's probably like 10,000 or some shit like that. It's got to be something where... Like, I don't know you much know, about that. We got Google. Probably. We got Google. How much... Is it a mixer or is it like a festival? Cost... Is it even real? Into... I don't even think it's real, is it? The, I hope it... They probably have like a festival or something. How much does it cost to get into the Catalina wine mixer? Fans fi- can find Catalina Wine Mixer tickets Avalon starting as low as $140. I told you, dude. It's not, that's not a real thing. They're talking about like how to get there to the island. Because that's one of the, that's one of the like, ships they take you on. The average price visitors pay to attend a Catalina Wine Mixer Descanso, Descanso Beach Club concert is 140 bucks. Right. So it sounds like it's, an act- it's like that's a concert. Over 80 bucks. Is it a concert or? Dude, there's know. no, there's no like actual mixer, dude. That was just for the movie. Damn. I wonder, there's an island though. And they probably do shit on the island. Yeah. But anyway, that was our best theme by far. Cause everyone dressed up. So wait, well, yeah, white shirt, right? White button up. I had like a pink, light blue and white. Yeah. But oh, that's the most frat thing I ever heard. You're damn there. straight. It was your damn fucking looked pink. good too. God, people love that, dude. Let girls love Navy those. blazer, khakis. Oh, my God. Straight, man. straight prep. Straight, straight prep. <laughs> Both <laughs> shoes. All right. Damn straight. Damn right. straight. You're still rocking the Sperry's, boy. Yeah. But best party we ever had in college. The uh, barn was sick, bro. I'll give you two. The barn was sick. Uh, freshman year, it's second week of school, and the t- the... The ski team at uh, OU is called Snowcats. And every year... Yeah, we have the same thing. Yeah, so every year, Snowcats would put on their, basically, introduction party, which is this huge party at the beginning of the year because they're trying... It's basically their recruitment event. And they they usually... They had it at this apartment complex called Palmer Place. Palmer Place was used because in the middle of Palmer Place was a big-ass courtyard, damn near like a concert. A party at Palmer Place. Yeah, kind of like a concert venue. So, that the day crazy. of that Friday, so the day of the party, word gets out that Palmer Place, the leasing agent, of, like the owner of Palmer Place, went to Snowcats and said, you throw a fucking party here, you guys will all get fined $500 per apartment. Oh. So, basically, don't throw a fucking party or else you're going to get they kicked out. anyways? No. So, what happened was they rescheduled at the last second... I remember this, dude. I'm literally yeah. walking home from class down the hill on Mill Street to Elliott Street, and I get a text from my buddy, Devin Soltis. Fucking love you, Devin. You're fucking, you're a brown fan, so fuck you, but love that boy, Devin. But Devin texts me. He's like, hey, Snow, or Palmer Place just pulled the plug on uh, Snowfest. Do you want to throw it at your, do you want to throw it at your house at the barn? I'm like, uh, Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. He's like he, I, he he runs like the Snowcats. He was he was friends with them, and they were looking for. Dude, this happened with me when I was out there with you guys. Were you up there the second week? No, no, no. Remember, so I go out there to visit y'all, right? Yeah, on Halloween. And you guys, we were we had like a party lined up. I don't know the logistics or anything behind it. And you guys. Literally the day of, and I couldn't believe, I've never seen a, anybody throw a party the day of, number one. And this, I'll just never forget, I'm riding around getting these cases with you guys, because we're about to throw a party at that like house on one of the main streets right there. It's like in one of the main streets. Okay. And this, this Asian kid, I don't know if you remember him, in your frat, I think. Frank? I don't remember his name or nothing, like. But while I'm there, like, we're going around getting it. This reminded me of Owen, too. We did the same thing. I went down with Owen. We were, like, set up for a party because he was social chair. Yeah. And he's going around making calls all day, all day. Yeah. Cool. That's, just, You're that's on your that picture gr- on Instagram, actually, with me there. What it's p- that same party. So you're that was the, oh, I'll never forget. That was the OSU-Oklahoma game when Baker... Sp- Spank the fucking thing in the middle of the field. So was that was that not? Hold on, I'm gonna look at this up. 
Was that not? Are you not talking about the Halloween party? You talking about something else? No, I just came up for a random weekend. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. But yeah, I don't think no, that wasn't um, that wasn't Snowfest though. That was some. That was. I know, I'm weekend. talking about something else, right? Yeah. Now. I'm sorry to get off a little time. No, I know this one right here. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that, was <laughs> that a, one right there. That was the party. Yeah, that was on um. That, that was, was on like, a back to deck. The deck was sick. That it had like a little yard back there. And it got fucking packed. Dude. Yeah. So that house was at the bottom of Mill Street. That was the only party we ever threw at that house. Let's go. Because it wasn't a main party. It wasn't really a main party house. But Lily, the barn was. No, I felt like it was kind of in the middle of like chaos. A little bit. But the main party house was the barn, which, ladies and gentlemen, when well, I said. you guys had that church. That thing was wild, too. Yeah, that was wild, too. That's kind of a weird sub, though. I don't know if I really yeah. liked it. The barn but, was way better. Though. Yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, when I say the barn, the barn was the house I lived in Athens, Ohio, for OU my junior year. A regular one, college house just has a fucking yeah. barn. One Elliott Street. It back. was a seven bedroom. But it had a literally a party barn with its own bar, I think it was sick. Ping, ping pong table, pool table, and we black lighted the whole thing as well. But that's why my boy Devin, I'm walking home from class, three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm done for the day, it's Friday, I'm ready to get it going. Text me, hey, Palmer Place just closed the thing on Snowfest. You wanna host at your house? I'm like, Fuck it, let's do it. He's like, awesome. There's 15 kegs in your ha- in your barn right now. I'm like, what? It's already there. <laughs> it's already there. How? They already they kind of assumed that we were gonna say yes and just already brought it. The snowcats? Yeah. I'm like, okay. You guys are so wild, bro. This is, <laughs> okay. This is, the, this is the most wild thing okay. I've ever heard. Honestly, dude, I've never I heard of it. 15 kegs. 15 kegs. I'm not bullshitting either, dude. Please tell 15. me about this. Please tell me dude, about this night. This dude. party. Was, I've never heard about 15 this party. Kegs. Got on bar, like got on. Uh, it was either bar store or one of those accounts. Cause yeah, like you old, had the, old so, row or something. So you, yeah, so you had the main. Please house. tell me this was not the telephone wire guy that fell off and shit. No, that was at Palmer Place. That was Palmer Place Fest. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, but anyway, we got on because so you had the house, but then on the side of the house was a like storage unit, like second barn, yeah. but you couldn't get in there because it was basically for the leasing agent some girl got on top and then like between the barn and the house was a, basically a parking lot so it basically became a dance floor with all the lights and everything right. some girl got on top of the fucking second barn looking at the crowd and did a front flip off no the way. second barn like it landed no like the crowd caught her and everything like oh, that oh god dude like but that's, that's how we got on, that's how we got on Barstool and everything like or not I don't know if it was Bro, Barstool or Road I don't know if I, I can maybe find let me see if I can find it on YouTube real nah, quick nah you don't have to find it right now just but no me. yeah I'll see if I can find it later but it so, was wait, so 15k 15k how do you manage all those people and shit you don't, dude. You, you just, just tr- let them in? Honestly, you just, like... You I just w- let them in? I was on the second floor. Like, you gotta be thinking, like, oh, my house is about to get fucked. I mean, you tried it, but, like, I would, like... I gotta lock up my room, right? That's it. The best thing I can do is lock up my room. That's and everything all- else is put shit away. That's all I can do. So I know, that, I know my bathroom's I know gonna... You, I know your living room bathroom got fucked, dude. All the time. All the fucking time, our house <sighs> is trashed. I mean, we had the same thing at courthouse, so... Yeah, but... The best part, like that was that was a big ass party, and then the best. You guys have like speaker, like loud enough for like Jesus. Dude. Oh yeah, we had big ass speakers, big <laughs> ass speakers, dude. Like somebody's just on ox, bro. Yeah, there's no like DJ. DJ the Well, like, dude, big that that, that party Snowfest, they had their own DJ. And he was playing his shit and everything. We didn't even have to pay for the DJ. He had a board and everything. He had a board and everything. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Dude. In fact, one girl fucking spilled her drink on his board, on his laptop. Oh, I bet, dude. That on, his, on his laptop. And he's like, thank God I got Apple Care because my shit's fucked. 15K. So K stands all, all night. All night. All night. Oh, my God. But the best you part. Guys, how, 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 did you have any leftover? I don't know if we did because if we did, they probably took so it. But yeah. Know. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, was, I think I was probably at the bars at that point. But. The best party. So how many people do you think you had? You had to say. 500 plus. 500. Yeah, that's probably most. That's probably more than what we ever had. 
the best party I think we ever we've had 500 before so. best party we ever had so not plus though no way it's been over that. like i said we lived in this house junior year and we all knew everyone in that house knew junior year's our last year of having fun and everything because we all turned 21 we're all having a good time and then senior year's where we're going to get our shit and like get real and it's time to move on yeah so it's kind of how it goes last party of the year we're like we're going to make this the best last party ever and we called it barnaroo and we no we way. dude, we literally made a poster. Like we put all our nicknames oh, as, as the. I had the poster. Let me the show flyer? you. Flyer. Yeah, we made a flyer, That's and it looked sick. like the. Dude, I was so late to the game on the flyers. That was such. Once I found like a guy who could make flyers for every party, that was the easiest way to get it get it out to every. Oh my! <laughs> Everywhere, dude, dude. I'll never forget. I was in a group chat with all the social chairs that you see. Right, and I was I would DM like the other social chairs of sororities, and dude, they would put it in all their chats. That's how you that dude. That's and we had a party. It was called Area Fifty One. <laughs> oh shit! And they were about to raid Area Fifty One that fallen like that next oh, week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I so know what you're talking about. Everybody knew what was going on. Dude, we threw this party at eight p.m. Or like it's it was supposed to start at nine ten p.m. Right. It was already packed. We had to let people in. Like, there was a line down the street. So, we had to let people in at 8 p.m. 8 p.m., bro. Two, like, two hours early. And we already had, like, 200 people in there at 8 p.m. And, like, 200... You've been in my house before, dude. Like, we don't have, like, a lot of land, dude. This is on the Chickasaw house or whatever? Or not Chickasaw, but... No. Um, Remember when you've been... The White my, House? My court, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's a skinny house. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we had that little like side Yeah, driveway? side yard and everything. 200 people. That's that's pretty and tight. Then, no, dude. It got up to like We got we we had we we hit capacity like Yeah. No problem. Like we 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 had to like we had to deny everybody. People like started jumping like the the party got so nuts, dude. I was social chair, so like the, these kids like try to come in from the back and oh, like shit. try to jump the thing. People were like tearing shit down. Like it was getting crazy, bro. Oh no. It was like Woodstock or some shit, dude. Yeah. Bro, at Barnaroo, we had like. So it probably got up to, I think, dude, that house, there could have not been more than 350. Yeah. At Barnaroo, man, we literally. There's no way we could have fit more I, than I'll try. I don't have the poster on me, but my buddy has it. Because we wouldn't but, let people in the house, really. So. Yeah. But literally, like. We, like I said, we black lighted the whole barn, so we turned the lights off, and so it was all black. So you guys got the bo like Bonnaroo atmosphere down. Yeah, and then people like because people knew it was the best, like they knew it was the last party of the year kind of thing. Everyone brought out like like one of our buddies, Bruno. He was going into the military. He literally at one point, like. I don't know how it got, like, we literally announced, because we had a DJ and everything, the DJ literally announces, this boy's going into the military, time to shave his head, and they literally started shaving his no. head in the middle That's of the That's smart as fuck, but, and then, do it anyways. My buddy Henry literally had, like, a five- Henry, like, that's his, is he Asian? Yeah. Henry, bro, that's his name. Yeah, that's Henry, through that through that party. Yeah, it was at Henry's house. Oh, I'll never forget him making all those calls, dude. Dude, Henry's a fuck. I love Henry. That dude's like, he's like a businessman, dude. Oh, he, hun, that dude like, can sell. Yeah, that dude, he can get along with anybody, bro. He yeah. was kind of immature as freshman year, and if he hears this out any day, he'll he'll probably agree with me. But dude, after his sophomore year, the he, most chill he motherfucker, the uh, huh? dude, instant, and it was awesome, chill as fuck. I know a lot of people. It's not weird, like a lot of people. Sometimes it, it's for the worse. Sometimes they're better during mm -hmm. pledging freshman year. But like a lot of people, like you're like pledging, you're like no way. This well, guy, dude, he didn't. No make, way, this guy's gonna be good. He and didn't then, make then they it. They end up being like better than the guys that are solid. Yeah. Well, dude, he didn't make it his freshman. He tried off. Like he didn't make it our freshman year. He had to like. You just said no. He's dude. He was wild. He was a wild boy. Like freshman year, he was a wild boy. But sophomore year, he. Matured up, got better, and he so was awesome. So like, he pledged and then make it and then re-pledge? Yeah. We let him in. Because we knew he was a good guy. It's just... I don't think we ever had that. Like a re-pledge? Well, like we knew he... Like I said, we knew he was a good guy, but I was like, dude, you're... You're on the edge? You're a little crazy right now. Like you gotta... You gotta wait for a Did second. Did you do something bad? 
I mean, you just be always over drinking and shit like that. Oh, yeah. You can't have that. Yeah. Which I think is a... I mean... I can't believe we let... I can't believe Haybo got in, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know who I'm talking about? No, I don't know who you're talking about. This dude named Haybo, bro. He can't hear... He can't hear anything. Okay, so like that's that's a reason him. for not to no, let no, him no, in. No, bro, he was like, he's cool as fuck when he didn't drink a lot, but he'd be the same way. He would get mm. every single party, every single time. Yeah, he would get f- so fucked. And his problem is, is like everybody's agging him on, of course. Oh, uh, it became a thing. So he would do anything, like anybody said, to get attention and stuff like that. Yeah, so he would vandalize. The number one thing he would do was vandalize. See, you can't do that, he was bro. like Bill's you Mafia, can't do that. like 2.0. He would jump oh, on tables God. and shit. Yeah, you and can't. And I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, because I'm a social chair, so I'm thinking like, oh, there goes the social budget. Here it goes another hunter. Here goes another 50. Oh, shit. Like, it, it, would get, it would get bad. Like the, You can't be reckless, man. And like, I never understood this, dude. Every party, every post party, we had some psychos in the frat, dude, and like, they would vandalize our own house, our own shit. I'm it's like, so stupid. I'm like, why would you fuck up your own shit? Yeah. That's like burning tables. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> dude, like, we did it. Dude, we did a thing. And this is like, this is different because this is like shit people are throwing out, moving out, whatever. Or just shit that's no like care. not getting yeah, used. No one's caring about it. So we had a, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to uh, our frat at Beta. I'm not sure. but I, I've been to the house once. But that was it. We got a giant fire escape. Okay. That's like actually about the high from here to the down low where we're at the banks. So about four stories. Yeah. And <laughs> we would call it every time we do it, we throw like a couch or we throw like a TV <laughs> or we throw like just anything like people are not using. Okay. And we call it does it bounce. And like, oh my god! And most of the time, what? It does, and most of the time, it doesn't fucking bounce. Like, no really, shit, <laughs> no shit. But we go like, does it bounce? Does it bounce? Bro, that's like those, there'd be like hundreds of people out there. Bro, bro. that's like those people who those drive the car. Awesome, those awesome thing. They drive ever. the cars off the cliff and they just see them crash and shit. That's what that is, dude. We would fucking. I'll never forget, bro. This. I had the video too. It was so dope. They were building that Deacon at the time, but it's like all construction sites. So the apartments or whatever. Yeah. And we we would go in the backyard, and we just we bounce the ball and take the biggest fucking hacks right at the construction site, bro. What? And to see and see how like we launch them from like in our backyard, see how far we can hit that shit. Jesus. Like golf, like golf hacks. Yeah, yeah oh golf, my god! Like actual golf balls and just let it rip. Dude. Jesus, dude, shit would be flying, dude. God, you're like you hit the building, like fuck it, whatever. Cause like it was just like half built, so it's like whatever. <laughs> it's like whatever, <laughs> fuck it. Who cares about all the dents that we're leaving into the foundation and every shit like that? I don't even think that was up. It was like you know how they do like the poles and shit. Oh, that's what so it was. So just like it? bounce off of that shit. Okay, stuff. that's not terrible. But anyway, that's pretty fucking funny. I don't know. What was the best theme you guys ever had? Oh yeah, so we had. Uh, we you had, guys were actually allowed to party in the house, but you weren't allowed to do that. At OU, you were not allowed to. That's party. not true. I actually went to a party at OU in the house. Was it Lambda? It was State of Cock. Well, you are allowed to because it's technically off campus. And I, you know how I got in, dude. I'll never forget this. I don't know why I was there. Like, the kind of sucked it? at OU. I don't even know. I was like with a girl or something. That's what it was. So they so were. So I go to this party, and I, I say I'm a I say I'm a Theta Chi from UC, because they're like denying people. It's like hard to get in this party. Yeah, they're kind of douchebags. Yeah, and they're like they're like your typical frat. Yeah, because like Theta Chi UC sucks. So <laughs> yeah, it's not the same. So I go like, yo, I'm a Theta Chi, Resolute, I say like their slogan, Resolute, oh. Resolute Man, they let me in right away. Right away. Yeah. Right away. And I'm getting like free beer and shit. And I'm like, yeah, you, they probably hyped you up. Like. Uh, it was so, it was like one of those like low key parties, but there was, there was hella baddies and shit. Hella baddies? Yeah, it was good. It had like yeah. one of them like neon. Yeah. Like the black, it was all black light. Yeah. One of them like neon parties. So they were allowed to have parties because their house was technically off campus. But if you were oh. on 
Yeah, they found a little loophole because they were they had their house like my they got like a house later, like they were like so they found a little bit of a loophole. I know Beta's house. Oh, you sick, dude. Yeah, it's big. It's pretty fucking big. I've been in there, bro. That place is sick. Yeah, but you can't have parties in it. Dude, you can't even have parties in it now at UC, and we're wet, like the campus. Yeah, the bait is dry. Cause that guy died. Why at Penn, is that, bro? Cause the guy bought, died at Penn State. Got, oh, is that why? He got hazed out the ass, and then he fell down the steps, and nobody helped him. Yeah, we had something that had that happen with uh, Sig Pi at our at OU. You guys have uh, people dying all the time in Lambda. No, not all. Well, yeah, Lambda, cause they Lambda likes their coke. And they That's would s- saying, snort dude. a bad line and whoop. Yeah, that was not good. Anyways, best party, bro. We got a shout out Nate Jones. Other Nate. Nate Jones. So like sick. Nate at the tailgate? Oh, different Nate. Different Nate. Another <laughs> Damn. Cool. cool. You got to meet this Nate. He's cool as fuck. You love this Nate. All right. But Nate Jones. Nate what does Nate Jones do? Too, though. Um... No, nah, he threw this, uh, we had this, well, there's two parties, that was crazy, but we threw our annual, we call it Beta Lay, it's like her Hawaiian, like, beach party. Okay. <laughs> Beta Lay? Yeah. Okay. Actually, this might have been the first year we ever did it. All right. But we usually throw a giant's end of the year spring party. Okay. So he goes out and buys, like, like, this is like a production, dude. He buy. he goes out and gets, like. Thousand, over a thousand pounds of sand. Oh my God. They come in and dump it in our parking lot. We Jesus. Clear out, we clear out the parking lot. Is it's this at the beta sandy. house? The beta house? Yeah. Okay. Side, side parking lot. <clears throat> and it kind of goes like this, like a long ways. Yeah, it's like a basketball court, damn near. Not the backyard, but yeah. It's like way longer than a basketball court. Oh, you're talking about the parking lot? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm th- yeah, I'm thinking of the basketball court. Yeah, it's way long, way longer and why. Anyways, somehow he comes up with this idea to like do these hay bales. And hay he bales? Like, yeah, he did like a, and if you put a tarp around it, it does like a, uh, like low key. I don't understand the science behind it, but like he, I don't know where he came out. He must have been high as fuck. <laughs> but he found a way to like make it like a, like a giant like pool. Like, he put these hay bales around it, and it would, like, hold the water in. And this, like... Okay. Picture, like, a hay bales around, like right. this, in a box. Okay. Put a tarp over it, put the water in there, and it, like, keeps it in there. Then we had a giant foam cannon, and then we just sprayed that in there. So it was, like, a giant foam party. Damn. In the pool. That sounds lit as fuck, dude. And then he went out and got a giant, like, like a concert stage. What? For, for our DJ. Because we knew this good DJ. Bro, how time. much did this party cost? Fuck, dude. Yeah, like, Jesus. Actually, this stage, is, this stage is not as much as you think. It's only, like, four or five hundred. Yeah, that's a lot in college, dude. Four or five hundred bucks? I try to replicate the same thing at eighty pie. But they suck, so it didn't work out. But. Like the sorority? 80 pie? No, AE pie. The Jewish Oh, AE pie. Okay. The apes? The apes. <laughs> what is, um, what's the mo- what's- And I do, yeah, it's just, we had like over 400 people. Cops came and like, yeah, they, uh, they didn't shut it down for some reason. And we just kept going all night. We had like pledges. So in our basement, we just had like a beer window on the side. Okay. So you could go up to this like drive through type thing. <laughs> Get a and they're just handing out this window. Dude. That's pretty funny. To, uh, um, what was I about to say? Uh, what's the most alcohol you ever bought for a party? Most I ever seen? Like, the most. Okay, yeah, sure. Like, what's the most alcohol you got? That's, a, uh, that, that's two different answers. So like, what's the most? Okay, so what's the most alcohol you've I'll, ever? I'll tell, you the, I'll tell you the most we ever bought. Cause yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Because we kind of we didn't so we didn't have to do that until we went dry after the Penn State thing. What do you mean you didn't have to do that? Well, you could bring a case of man. Like everybody just bring a case of man to our parties 
at the house. So you guys would just bring cases? Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. But then we, when we went dry, we had to throw it off. We couldn't do it at the house anymore, right? Right. So we had to go off campus. But like, did you we guys still do? We would still do cases, but what? Now we have because if you do it off campus, now you have no rules. So like, yeah, if you do it at the frat, you can't have liquor. That's you sick. can't have kegs. Right. Like you literally only have beer. Fuck. And seltzers, I guess. Yeah. Well, seltzers weren't really a thing back then. So. Right. So really it's just beer. So we had a case. It was like the only way. So a case of dude is the most? Yeah, that was good. We do two cases sometimes for giant ones, but like. Yeah. Anyways, the most I ever bought, I think I had like over $1,000 in my Venmo. And we started doing these. Well, giant, why'd you have a thousand dollars in your Venmo? Okay. We started doing these giant. Well, why'd you have a thousand dollars? We in started your- doing these giant slush <laughs> funds. We call them slush funds. Okay. And I'll never forget. This is how the hooch was born. You know the hooch we got over here in the house. Actually, we still got it. Still haven't made it yet. Yeah. I'm still waiting on a good time to make it. Honestly. So, I say this weekend. This weekend sounds lit. Picasso's coming into town. You got people. Blake's coming into town. This weekend is horrible for me, honestly. Horrible? Yeah. Dad's birthday is Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Bob Killer. We got to find, find some time. That shit's been standing over there. We haven't even used that goddamn Gatorade jug yet. I mean, like, we'll throw like a Christmas party here or something. I don't know. All right. Throw a little, little, little Christmas party. If anyone wants to come down for the growl zone Christmas party and a yeah. little, little, little chill out, go to the banks after. Drop go Addy. to the banks. We'll have Addy. a few laughs. We'll drop Addy and Dayton in the comments. Yeah. The most alcohol we ever bought was for Barnaroo. Yeah. We bought. So you guys had bought every time. Like it wasn't like. It was like, a group. We used to have a list of like everybody's name and like you had to cross it off to get in. No, we, it was a group them. effort. So we, everyone was just Venmo, whoever's going to go so buy. So you guys did a slush fund. So we had five kegs. Um, See, let's say you guys did kegs. We never really did kegs, dude. Yeah. Well, so we had five kegs. We did. We have, but like it. This is almost easier to go to party stores. I was 21 at the time. Buy a fuck ton of cases because we get so. See, so we because Natty Self just came out when I was social. But see, we don't have a party like our party source is Kroger. Right, so we had that though. Yeah, but we don't. Not in Athens, Ohio, you don't. Like, so, so we were using our resources. So we we get hooch, which you gotta have like the right liquor. Right. And you gotta have clear. You had every option you want. You had Natty Self. You had Natty's. You had whatever. So what we had at OU. Kroger sold liquor. The gas stations would sell you uh, if you wanted to get like quick like cases and stuff, or if you wanted a keg, you had to go to like the keg store that was like a fifteen minute drive. So we had to like coordinate this like three so weeks. At least in. you had a keg situation though. So we got five kegs that night. Because kegs are lit. Dude. We got fifty bottles of Hawaiian Punch, and we got eighty five handles of vodka. Eight, we literally had to coordinate with the marathon down the street. Be like, hey, how much do you guys get Like, when you order like, 85, 85 handles of vodka? And I'm not bullshitting either. Dude, I think the most I ever bought, but I got Everclear, so that's like 10 of your shit right there. But dude, Everclear is, <laughs> Everclear is a dangerous that's literally move. literally 10 times dangerous. Than yeah, Everclear is a... That's a little bit of a risky move you got going right there. That's a risk I was willing to take. I'm going to see if I can find that video. That was Damn, a risk. Bro, the I most I ever bought for a party is probably like 15, 20. No, I mean. But we were more big on cases than liquor. So. See, I don't. Cases go by cases, so. Cases was our thing. But they just go by so fast. Like. Well, they're like easy to grab. It's easy to yeah, it coordinate, is. easy to... Kegs like, logistics like, are easy. Kegs don't go fast because they at least like... You have to wait in line to kind of get a... Sometimes you have to wait in line sometimes. See, I don't like... I, now that I think about it, the cans are better because you can just grab and go. But people waste every single can. Right, like right. no one drinks a full beer rarely. And if it's, if you, if it's your house, you don't have the to... The only thing I like about kegs... It's not like you're drinking Kegs from actually is like... Well, one, if there's no line, and two, is like cake stands are lit. So. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 
There's something about that upside down fucking head rush. It's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, we got about 10 minutes left. You want to talk about anything else or? You want to talk about politics? <laughs> right after we just got talking shit about parties and stuff like that. I mean, there's what do you, like there's not really anything going. I mean, there was the debate last week. A lot of people like I just seen fucking Biden was just met with China today, actually. I yeah, seen, how do you think that go? Fun. I'm sure he said a lot yeah, of insightful he didn't things. He looked like he was registering any fucking thing. Bro, he is gone. Just watch him. He's gone, man. Like, how do they get this motherfucker in like, China, bro? bro? And that was my whole thing is going into the election, I'm like, look, I try to take the... So what do you think, man? Like, Biden, Trump... I mean, I'm just going to go out and say it. Like, I'm not really a big fan of either. So. I'm not a big fan of either, either. So it's like... But here's what I'll it's say. It's really like lesser to the evil. Yeah, but like. here's what I'll say, man. All right. I try to take it from the least biased approach I can take it. Because I'm not falling for both teams. They both kind of suck. The least biased approach you can take, there's a saying in the NFL, the best ability is availability. You can be as fast as all get out, but if you are hurt or if you are limited, no one gives a shit. And what I'll say, and if you disagree with me on this statement, I know you're... You cannot tell me that Biden looks fine. From well, a I mean, mental... He, if you're voting for Biden again, you're not actually voting for Biden. You're think voting this, against I think Trump. People, you're voting against Trump if you vote no, for No, I don't even think that. I think you're, you're voting for like... We, call it, we can call it deep state. I think that's fair to say. We can fuck call, the deep state though, like, dude. There's like 10 people running Biden shit right now. I would that's the problem. You got all these. So you're 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 voting for like behind the scenes. Yeah, and they fucked everything up. So that's far. what you're voting for. You're not voting for. Biden. Look how good they've done. Like so you're far. voting for like his cabinet. So I you're voting it. for Kamala, really? That's who you're voting for. You know she has a worse approval rating than him, and he's half dead. He's half dead. She's worse than him. I'll give you the biggest argument I think in politics, and I'm not gonna disagree or, or agree with this because. I mean, he's a little crazy, so... I mean, do you think Trump, like... Is he a Nazi, like everybody says? No, come on, dude. You don't think he's that... Really? So it's, so it's overblown. Yeah. Really? I think so. He's a... He, re, dude, do people realize what the Nazis did? Come on. Are you For, kidding me? I mean. I don't think it would ever get to that. It's like... You know what? Someone... Uh, what Patrick, do, you think, do you think with him... And maybe it's not his fault, or maybe it's already. Here's what I think. Oh, now, do you think we get in a World War Three? Probably not. I feel like we had good relations actually. During Here's that. what I think. Patrick Bet David put it best. Do you know who Patrick Bet David is? Successful businessman, um, has his own podcast. I suggest you listening to it. Awesome dude. He put it this way. When the mob, so if you look at okay, if you look at the mob, when the mob boss is strong, everyone's in line. When Pablo was at the head and it was a strong authority leader, everyone fell in line. It was when those guys got taken out or the mob boss was soft that shit hit the fan because everyone starts doing their own thing. If you look at the country, if America is the boss, which we are, dude. We're the fucking boss. Yeah, we got guns. Bro. We're the goddamn boss My of this fucking world. Got guns, I don't give a fuck. Son. Like UK Strapped can talk up. shit, Russia can talk. We are the boss. If we are not strong, if we're weak, aka have an eighty-year-old president who is not there mentally, people are gonna do their own shit. But if you have a dude who might just be crazy enough to fucking call a hit on you. I'm not saying that's the best idea. I'm just putting it in the analogy. People are going to fall in line because they know the risk of fucking with the strong dude because that strong dude won't fuck around. As much as you like... So you're saying Trump's got good like fortitude and like... I'm saying he's available. He's mentally there. He's got good relations. 
I'm not even saying that, man. I'm saying he's mentally there. He can actually have a conversation with a world leader and not be fucking bulldozed during it. I'm not gonna lie. I think COVID started because of China, like hated Trump. He cut off a lot of their foreign sh- of their trade shit, dude. Like we had bad relations with China. Well, dude, China is um. If you ever want to hear something very interesting, because he calls it the China fucking flu for a reason, dude. It literally came out of a lab, so we call it the Spanish flu, but we don't call it the China flu. No, but he would like, he would like make fun of. He said the kung flu. (laughs) He said the kung flu. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, he hates China in general. Well, dude, China hates us. So I guess not as bad as they hate Trump, because obviously, all that shit went down for a reason. I mean. China. There's no way you just have a pandemic out of nowhere. Well, dude, the fucking po- bat. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't well, believe dude, that for a second. Well, bro, you the, must be fucking. You must be like a five year old to believe that shit. Well, dude. the problem. Naive, dude. Don't Ch- be, everything happens for a reason in this world, bro. Just remember that everything does. So there's two problems with China, and ladies and gentlemen, if you want to hear something, very, if you want to hear an interesting ass conversation about China and world politics. I highly suggest go to the Joe Rogan experience and watch the Peter Zion episode. That dude is a fucking expert. And he, his prediction is China is on a societal collapse because if you look at China's demographics, so what you want your demographics to be is a pyramid. You want to have as many young people as possible. And then when people get older, they eventually die off. China's is the opposite. They have more older people than younger people. In fact, their unemployment percentage for people 18 to like 24 is like 25%. Wow. Like they, they don't are, have enough jobs or what? There is just fuck. Like, I don't know. Like, like I said, I'm telling you, it's a great conversation he has because this dude goes deep. And what he also says, the problem is China is run by the, obviously the CCP, the Communist Chinese, the Chinese Communist Party. The problem is it's, Xi Jinping, the leader, he gets no advice from everyone because he's fucking killed everyone that's gone up against him. So no one's given him advice. He's doing it. Yeah. That's so it's just it's basically a cold a, a person a cold of personality. This dude is just going solo and everything. So he's like a poon in China. Yeah. No but, wonder they get along so well. Yeah. Well, they don't like each other either. They just happen to be allies. Nah, they like each other. Not really. They got dude. the same idea. No, not really. It's kind of like us and Stalin. Really, dude? It's like kind of like us and Stalin in World War II. We're, we don't like Russia, but if we got to partner up to take down the Nazis, we'll put our pities to the side. If anybody's partnering up, it's fucking China and Russia against the world, I think. Yeah. But if anyway. That, if anybody is Cuba, China, Cuba. Russia, because they're. I, it's They're Iran, I, Iran, Russia, China. Those you think are, Iran's in that? hundred percent. Iran is what fueled Hamas. A lot of people think Iran fueled Hamas. Hmm. But anyway, we got to sign off. Great note to sign off on. <laughs> but awesome. ladies and gentlemen, as always, please make sure to go check out growlzone.com. That's G-R-O-W-L-Z-O-N-E, growlzone.com. We always post daily Bengals content, daily NFL content. And like we mentioned before in past episodes, the best part about the site is we curate all types of content into one place for you to check out. Not only are you getting all your Bengals content in one place, you're getting all your Sports content, your rich, your rich Eisens, your Skip Baylesses, your Stephen A's, your Shannon Sharps. It's all in one spot. So please make sure to go check that out. And we appreciate all the support you have given us so far. And once again, go check out our Instagram at growl underscore zone. Pace we post blown daily up. content. Blown up. Past 150 followers. We've been only doing it for about a month, month and a half. So we really appreciate the support. But other than that, this is your host, Natty Nate, Nate Moore. Race coach. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless and have a good night.